when it comes to AI, I've heard a lot of mixed opinions. There is a lot of division. Some people love it, some people hate it, and everything in between. Some don't care for it. For me, I've been working with AI consistently for about four to five months, and I kind of want to share my experiences by the end of this video. You can kind of make the determination if AI is worth working with and if it's capable of coding something that you may want to make. Specifically in this video, I'm going to be talking about audio plugins. However, the rule of thumb would apply I would imagine to any software that we would want to create whenever I make these videos talking about my plugin development I always want to exhaust the fact that I am a complete newbie to C++ and juice that's what I'm using to establish this plugin prior to this project I have never written a single line of C++ coding before that I did use a uh, contact scripting and I wasn't good at it but I did understand it a little bit but I just wanted to point that out and be really transparent with that prior to this project I never ever studied C++ never written a line even today I think I've only I don't write the full lines even as of today I simply adjust them accordingly like when I need to tune some math or something I'll adjust some numbers uh, I am getting better I know how to uh, spot bad code and good code now more or less for my architecture and build point is there's been a lot of development from the time that I started which was around June 25th was the official start date of chomp box today is October 28th so it's been about four months give or take some time there and I've made a tremendous amount of progress in my opinion for the skill sets that I currently have the main coder for 99% of this plugin has been ChatGPT. I have used Google Gemini for like diagnosis to help me get over hurdles that I couldn't get over. Certain sections of this plugin took me days. For example, like the round robin system, I think took me about maybe two weeks, like 14 to 16, 17 days to actually get it working correctly. So there's been an immense amount of work that's already gone into this plugin. Let me go ahead and talk about some feature sets. Let me let you hear it. So again, we can kind of see if AI is actually able to produce code that we could not only use, but potentially sell. So I want you to let me know if you think this is something that I can sell. This is a plugin called Chomp Box. You can see right here we have the expansion drop down, the presets right here. We are able to load our own samples. So if we have our own sample recordings, we can load them into Chomp Box, manipulate the audio in a multitude of fun, unique ways that are really fun. And I'm going to share with you here in a moment. Okay, so that's the top right there. The only thing that's also important to note is this GUI, most of it is placeholder. So right here, we're on one, but all of these don't work. So the only thing that's clickable is this utility drop down right here, which is, allows us to save preset, uh, save as, load preset. You can see delete. We have create new expansion, select sample source folder, open the preset folder, open expansion, reset parameters, refresh GUI, data settings, and then show tool tips. Uh, we can turn that on and off from there. The key map, these are all features that are yet to come. So this is all placeholder. This works. Uh, this works right here, the arrows. Uh, so you can see, so for layer A, it's important to know that I am still wiring up layer A. I have to wire up all the parameters for layer A, get the layer A base engine done. And then from there, I'm going to scale to B, C, and D. Now, layer A offers a multitude of different shapers. So you can see we have a sample select drop down. These are actually round robin folders, which are multi sample samples. You can see that the little icon right here tells us where the selected library lives. And then once we start having more expansions, all of them will pop up there. We have some essential features such as loop, reverse, clip, limit, normalize. These two are still placeholders. And then we have a fade system with fade curves, as you see right here. Down here, we have the, uh, I guess, main shaper sliders. We have volume. We have attack, decay, sustain, release. Here is LFO. We have filter, glide, and pitch. What's cool about these is every single icon right here has drop downs for different modes. So you can see we can select different shapes for the envelope. So if I go to attack, I could uh, change the way that it curves in, which greatly impacts the sound. LFO, you can see we have different modes there so for every single parameter here we have different modes now this is going to be an effect send i haven't wired this up so it's just a placeholder a slider it does nothing as of now but when the effects rack is in place we're going to be able to send the amount of effects per layer right here so that's basically where we are at. If I click this little icon right here, you can see that there's also a behavioral engine that controls the inner workings of the engine that's already at play right here. 
So as of right now, all of this is wired up. Everything that you see that I've mentioned is working. Uh, we do have a, a preset browser panel over here that allows us to toggle presets and look at them uh, cleanly and quickly. So let me play some sounds here. So let me go ahead and you can hear that's the LFO, which sounds fantastic. And let me uh, select some different sounds and kind of just run through it as any user would. So let's go ahead and go here. We'll kind of create a preset real time for you all so you can kind of see how easy it is. We have glide here. And then what's cool is if I go over here, I want to kind of show you, you can see that we have round robin and it's currently off. But if I go and I select ping pong, it starts cycling through the different samples, giving us a really realistic tone. So let me try to kind of turn off the behavior here so you can hear. So we get a static hit, right? So if I turn the velocity sensitivity up, now it's going to go based off of how hard and soft I am pressing. So you can hear. And then over here, if I turn the round robin on, it's actually going to cycle through a series of audio files, as you can see. If it's hard for you to hear, I know that may be a little hard to hear since it's just one similar note. However, the notes are in fact different. Let me go ahead and kind of show you. Let me show it to you two ways here. So I'm going to remove the velocity sensitivity and the ping pong. And then we're going to place it back in real time. So listen here. You still can't hear it that's totally fine i completely understand that it is very very subtle let me go ahead and show you an actual round robin test so let me go ahead and two three four five six seven eight nine eight seven so i'm just hitting the same note over and over and over uh let me go over here six five four three two one to two, prove it as you can three, see four Five. The round robin system is working just fine. Let me go back. It's going to load the preset. One, 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 one. One, one, one. So you can see if I go over here, round robin one, is one, off, which one, is why one, it's not one, cycling, one. right? So if you hear cycle, it's going to go from one to nine and then repeat over and over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just do it like that instead of me playing on the MIDI controller here in front of me. And then let me go to random, which is going to play random but never the same note twice. Seven, one, six, three, eight, two, three, four, five, eight, six, seven, four. And then chaos is also random but has the uh, logic to play the same note back to back. Two, eight, five, two, one, five, three, six, seven, two, five, five, two, See, six, there we go. two. And then we have backwards, which is from, it's going to count from 9 down to 1. 1, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 9, 8, 7. Okay, and then now we have ping pong, which is going to go from 1 to 9, and then back down to 1. 8, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there you have it. That is the round robin system. It is definitely wired and working 110% correctly. That gives us very realistic uh, sounds. It doesn't matter what sound we are using. And you could see that, that it plays cleanly. So I was able to accomplish all of these systems right here and all of these parameters and shapers and behavioral toggles through the use of AI. Keep in mind, I didn't code any of it. I use specific... Uh, I, I use specific execution. I come up with the idea and then I basically get ambitious about it. And then I use pure grit and determination to make it happen with the use of AI. I was able to accomplish all of this. Everything here is wired up and working. We have like different voices. We have a root note. We have interpolation mode, one shot mode, phase align, which is pretty cool. Uh, like if we're getting like transient pops, we can go ahead and use phase alignment. We have a chomper system, which is basically, uh, 
highlights a certain part of the sample and then we can offset between that selection we have the chomper offset we have a uh, clip amount limit threshold attack speed decay speed release speed uh, pan spread mode we have this LFO system wired up this LFO system is my newest feature that I just implemented I finished it this morning actually and it sounds amazing I love the way that this sounds and it's also BPM uh, syncable to our tempo in our host here so you can see I have 130 and then I have an assortment of different division here so let me let me show you that it does sync to the host so I'm at 130 uh, listen and watch how I gradually raise and listen to the sound so you can see I maxed out chomp box at 522 bpm in fl studio and that's what that sounds like and then if i go back let me take the sync off so you can see it's completely different so we have the lfo sync back on and let me go ahead and show you one time again So 110% syncing to the BPM of our our host there that we're using, which is really, really cool. It makes for unique sound design and certain sounds sound really, uh, you know, cool. <laughs> so from here, though, we have also a glide system wired up. I mean, I can kind of do this all day. Everything works the way that it should. And this is all just bass uh layers this is all just base uh systems they sound great already so they should sound great out the box when you use them on your end however i do have every intention on scaling this indefinitely so i will be adding features upon features uh you know stabilizing it in any way that i can listening to feedback from users and all sorts so you can see though i have one instance and i'm in fl studio vst3 format and i'm idling at eight percent which is actually pretty good that's a very healthy cpu range so I know at this point I'm more so rambling on than anything however I'm trying to prove the point that AI is 110% capable of coding a plugin and you can see this isn't by any means a basic plugin this is a really feature rich advanced plugin we have clip mode we have limit wired up we have normalize uh, we have the fade system as well this fade system is actually a really cool feature you can hear so we have the envelopes fading system and we have this fade system we can also change the curb shape of that as well as you can see so the point being is i'm building this very advanced system with the power of ai specifically chat gpt is what i am using if you are interested i'll make more videos on how i go about you know working with ai you can see though real quick that i even have a favorite preset so if i click this the star pops up and then the favorite preset goes straight to the top that's actually pretty cool i'm thinking about making like a thumbs down where we thumbs down a sound if we don't like it and it goes to the bottom of the list that'd be pretty cool let me know what you think though just keep in mind that this is going to be layer uh, a multi-layer engine so this is all of layer a engine I may wire up a few more parameters and then layer B, C, and D are all going to have the exact same parameters. So we're going to be able to import multiple samples to layer on top to create one full tone. That is the exact idea of Chomp Box. And we'd be able to do that with our own samples. Not only that, I'm going to ship with a massive sample library so that way people and producers can get to either sound designing and creating beats right out, right out the box as soon as they purchase it. Overall, though, this is exactly where I am at. Layer A is almost done, which I'm very excited for the completion of that. From there, I will go ahead and clean up my code base and then scale to B, C, and D. After that, I think we'll do the effects rack, the main page, the explore page. I mean, there's just a lot of work that needs to be done, but I'm very eager to do it. Now, one thing before I conclude this video, I am looking for beta testers. So if you are interested in testing out this plugin, giving me some feedback, I am interested in hearing what you have to say. Now, uh, you can go ahead and either drop a comment down below or you can email me at pocket at pockettone.io. You can go ahead and email me there and then I can go ahead and get back with you and then let you know, you know what I'd be looking for, send you a beta version so you can test out. 
you get the idea. But yes, in my opinion, AI is 110% capable of coding depending on your wants, needs, goals, and your abilities. I really feel like it's a perfect combination of all those variables that would make the one true result that we may be looking for. So with that being said, thank you for watching. I appreciate you listening to my ramble about AI here in my new plugin. I will be bringing more updates on the development of this plugin, so be sure to stick around if you found this video helpful or you like it at all consider giving this video a thumbs up as i would greatly appreciate the support i appreciate you your time and thank you very much for watching i hope you have a great day